Dolce Gadi de Hjarmanus Branta o Allskol Bonuud. Welcome to your Maynooth University conferring ceremony. Congratulations on successfully completing your programme of study. We hope your time in Maynooth was enjoyable, challenging and rewarding and that it will be beneficial to you in whatever you plan for the future. Your conferring day is one of celebration with family and friends and marks an important milestone of your achievement. We wish that we could celebrate with the graduates of 2021 in the way the Maynooth University community normally does. We will do so when circumstances allow. Wishing you health, happiness and success as you celebrate this special day. Gimit slancha sanas agus gach jara art agus an law speciltisha o kailura agat. My name is Aidan Mulkeen, I'm the Registrar of the University, and I'd like to take the opportunity to welcome you to this rather unusual virtual conferring ceremony. Conferrings are one of the highlights of our academic year. For you, the graduates, they're the opportunity to think back on what you've done and to celebrate your success with family and friends. For us, it's the time when we see you competent, confident, and ready to take the next steps in your lives. It's a day when we're really proud of you, we're proud of what you've achieved, and we're proud of what you can achieve. So as you can imagine, it's a real disappointment to us that we can't have you here in person today for this ceremony. This is not the conferring you would have wanted, and it's not the conferring we would have wanted for you. We will bring you back on campus at some point in the future when the public health situation allows to be on stage and to celebrate your success in person. For today, though, we want to confer your awards in this virtual ceremony, and we hope that this will provide you with an opportunity to reflect on what you've achieved and to celebrate with family and friends. Before we start, I'd like to take just a moment to explain a little bit about what to expect. As you know, this is a formal meeting of the university to confer academic awards, and by tradition, parts of the ceremony are conducted in Latin. So in a moment, I'll open that formal part of the ceremony with a short passage in Latin. I will then hand over to the Dean of the Faculty of Social Sciences, Dr. Mark McGuire. When we come to each new category of awards, the Dean will read a short passage declaring that you are properly examined and ready to receive your awards, and I'll respond approving those awards. The names of the graduates will then be called out in sequence. When we have completed that part of the ceremony, I'll close the formal part of the meeting and I will invite the President to give his conferring address. Universitas Hibernia Nationalis, pre honorabilis provice cancellariae totaque universitas, hec comitia universitaria hodie convocata sunt, ut quidem viri mullerisque maxime exime ad gradus academicus admitantur. Pre honorabilis provice chancellare totique universitas, Faculty of Social Sciences, honors degree of Bachelor of Civil Law, Law and Arts. Presento vobus hascimeus filius filiesco meos, quius omnes gio tamoribus quam doctrina hibile, edigenese e si qui admittantur ad gradum baccalaureatus in jure civili honora cursa confecto. It qui tibi fide mea tester ac spandeo totique academiae. Authoritate mehe concessa, admito vos ad gradum baccalaureatus in jure civili honoro curso confecto. Damilola Ahmed, Debra Agjeba, Kriabari, Stephen Beirith, Zara Bradley, Sorka Byrne, Emma Campbell Johnson, Adam Carr, Kayla Christie, Kieran Clark, Clara Comerford, Sarah Condon, T. 
Tia Connaughton. Alison Daly. Stephanie Darlington. Eleanor Doyle. Howard Ikariviba. Quiva Fitzgerald. Jennifer Harris. Nicole Irving. Kira Kavanagh. Willow Kirwan. Aleko Likaj. Patrick Lynch. Tara McCourt. Alex McGilloway. Kerry McLaughlin. Jack McNally. Tara Morris. Maeve Muggan Lavin. Gavin Murphy. Kira Murray, Maeve Nolan. Julia Obsanska, Lucy O'Connor, Owen O'Regan, Rebecca Power. Molly Rafter, Sarah Reynolds, Camille Rusinick, Roisin Smith, Ashling Tite, Nicola Turley, Aoife Walsh, Emma Ward, Shannon Watson Hallisey, Lauren Whelan, Jilarma Wild, Nicole Zahorsky, Honours Degree of Bachelor of Civil Law, International Law and Arts. Alimat Aleo, Dervleburn, Dara Carolyn, Connor Coyle, Kean Curley, Michael Gagan, Kevin Kinsella, Neve McDonough, Eilis Maloney McDonnell, Hilary Mullen, Emer O'Neill, Morgan Scully, Jintari Zygmuntavichute, Honours Degree of Bachelor of Civil Law, Law and Accounting, Maria Broughton, Renick Castillo, James Costello, Chloe McElmeal, Joseph Murphy, Katie Murphy, Sarah Miles, Julia Rejterada, Honours Degree of Bachelor of Civil Law, International Law and Accounting, Basil Jacob. Honours Degree of Bachelor of Civil Law, Law and Business, Kadir Arslan, Karine Bolhan, Christina Bradshaw, Laura Bruin, Kira Carberry, Cahill Carlin, Laura Cassidy, Avian Connolly, Simida Cosma, Shannon Creamer, Orhan Cusson, Sophia Danska, Paul Donahue, Jack Downey, Sean Downey, Mark Doyle, Emma Durkin, Emily Flynn, Anya Gillespie, Adrian Gillick, Luke Grady, Niall Hill, James Hogan, Abigail Ibilola, Anne Kavanagh, Connor Kavanagh, Aideen Kidd, Shiona Layden, Angela Lorenzo, 
Serginia Lupe, Rachel Lynch, Evan McGovern, David McGrath, Connor McGurk, Jade McHugh, Scott McMyler, Larissa Mirauta, Katie Mullen, Anya Murphy, Amy Murphy, Keith Murphy, Alex Power, Cora Redmond, Laura Rogan, Luke Shields, Connor Story, Emma Sweeney, Aaron Thornton, Joseph Weldon, Sarah Wiseman. Yana Woods, Olamide Yusuf, Honours Degree Bachelor of Civil Law, International Law and Business. Maureen Burke, Chloe Daniels, Dervla Fairburn, Jane Flynn, Maya Hannafin, Kyle Hussey, Sarah McAvoy, Karen Maisie, Holly Moylan, Danielle O'Neill, Kevin Smith. Honours Degree of Bachelor of Civil Law, Law and Criminology. Mazudat Abdul, Olu Wazun Idanubi, Bashir Agbula, Laura Cannon, Emma Cook, Keith Cooper, Shanice Cosgrove, Lauren Dempsey, Aoife Doherty, Christine Donoher, Jordan Donohu, Emma Doolan, Erica Dunn, Emma Farrell, Megan Farrell, Jenny Finlay, Jessica Flynn, Neve Flynn, Con Green, Davidas Grudzinskas, Keelan Gilfoyle, Claire Honer, Katrina Jankowskaite, Chloe Keenan, Quivin Kelly, Kaitlin Knight, Bonnie Latish, Jordan Lennison Carty, Kerry Leonard, Anina Lottisher, Justina Luber, Aoife Lynch, Katie McGuinness, Cuiva McKeown, Katrina Mentham, Amalia Moran, Abby Moran Lyons, Alana Murphy, Sharon Obeyagbona Louis, Lorcan O'Connor, Adam O'Hanlon, Cuiva O'Leary, Margaret O'Mahony, Sinead O'Reilly, Katie O'Sullivan, Paula Percone, Abby Phelan, Alexandra Plechuk, Lotus Puel, Enrica Priol Gauskaite, Neve Quinton, Elizabeth Rafter, Lauren Riley, Aoife Reynolds, Rebecca Robson, Claude Rowe, Shauna Rooney, Marie Rowan, Erin Ryan, Diana Sugar, Kelsey Tobin, Alexandrea Tracy Powell, Ora Valentine, Honours Degree of Bachelor of Civil Law, International Law and Criminology. Adriana Kazamarczyk, Julie Malone, Kerry Palmer,
honours degree of Bachelor of Civil Law, Etudes Juridiques, Legal Studies in conjunction with the Université Catholique de Lyon. Laura Alamel, Ellie Arnaud, Jean Aubert, Togdul Bahizre Delaney, Louis Bertucat, Leone Bouquet, Anel Boucault, Lou Maxens Boucher, Mariana Brouze, Marine Cavalier de Couverville, Lola Chabanal, Leah Compagnon, Colleen Darnot, Beatrice Dor, Juliette Duvergier, Charlotte Gobo, Talia Gobo, Timothy Hayes, Nala Hima, Elisa Creamer, Marguerite Laboucher, Pauline Lassette, Emma Laurent, Soline Marduel, Charlene Maroney, Eleonore Motte, Lisa Perard, Mathilde Perrin, Mayel Provost, Mathilde Ramos, Erin Rosset, Amandine Roth, Jean Seneschal, Nawel Sonrani, Oscar Verdior, Marie Viricel, Fadil Wodochao Wogo, Doctor of Philosophy, Arts. Presento vobus hanc meum filium, quam scio tam maribus quam doctrina habilem, et odoniam esse qui admittantur ad gradum doctoratus philosophe, equi tibi fia mea testa ex bondeo, totoque academiae. Authoritate mihi concessa, admitto te ad gradum doctoratus philosophiae. I would now like to invite Dr. Fergus Ryan to introduce the doctoral candidate from the Department of Law. Department of Law, Rebecca Murphy. Rebecca's thesis title is Beyond the Courtroom Door, Exploring the Feasibility of Child Protection Mediation in Ireland. Supervisors, Dr. Fergus Ryan and Her Honour, Judge Rosemary Horgan. Each year, the university awards over 100 academic prizes at its annual prizes and awards ceremony, and the following prize recipients have been conferred at this ceremony. Department of Sociology, the third year politics prize for the best performance in the politics BA degree examination, joint winner, Kriya Barry. School of Business, Chartered Accountants Ireland's prize for the first place in accounting on the BCL Law and Accounting Programme final year, Sarah Miles. Pre honorabilis pro vice cancellariae totaque universitas. 
Ceremonius Rite Confectus, Queso Facias Finum Hujus Convocationis Universitariae. That concludes the formal part of the proceedings. Your degrees have now been awarded, and my congratulations to all of you. I would now like to invite the President of the University, Professor Philip Nolan, to give his conferring address. Gemeha, a Guina Ushla, Boalam Falsha Parsenta, a Kuro of Galer, Erlina, Quig on Sharmanish Specialta, Ak Navnok, Sho. It's so called Specialta A on Sharmanish Sho, a Selna Gemeha Nua, Augusta, Ohasarm Gul Deshiguin A Kalura, O Kela, Ak Lekela Freshen, Agus Marshin, Boalam Mardus, Kogordus of Korea Yenev, Erle Gemeha Galer. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to offer you my personal welcome online on this very special occasion for each and every one of you, and for those with you, your graduation day. We had desperately hoped that we could be able to do this together on our campus, which is really looking wonderful as ever, and we are as disappointed as you must be that it is not yet safe to do so. But I think we're nearly there, and in the course of the next year, we intend to invite you all in person to come together so that we can be together and celebrate your achievements. Appropriately, given the very particular challenges that you have faced, you should be entitled to not one, but two celebrations of your graduation. Nonetheless, Graduation Day itself, the day, is a very special occasion in your life's journey, and I'm delighted that we have the opportunity to celebrate it apart, but at the same time very much together. And I do begin by offering you my heartfelt congratulations and my hope that for each of you, this is as personal and joyful and special a day as if we were all here together. This has been a most unusual and difficult time. In your penultimate year of study, we were struck by this pandemic, the likes of which we have not seen for a century. You have all been affected by this. Your lives and your studies have been severely disrupted, and some of you, sadly, will have had the additional strain and grief of seeing your loved ones severely ill or losing loved ones to COVID-19, and they are very much in our thoughts. None of us imagined that this would be so difficult. None of us imagined that this would go on for so long and with such loss. And yet through all of this, through all of this difficulty, you found the resources and the resilience to complete your learning, to complete your studies. And it has been for that reason and amplified by those events, our extraordinary privilege to confer on you today the degrees that you so richly deserved. So I'd like each of you to take a moment now and reflect on the last 18 months and on your entire journey of learning and study, knowing that all of your classmates are thinking and reflecting at the same time, wherever they may be, and think, think about how much you have achieved, how much you've overcome, to be where you are today, and just to absorb the significance of this moment. And I'd like to thank, on your behalf, two groups of people. Firstly, the staff of the university, who went to extraordinary lengths to ensure that you could successfully complete your studies. And second, the people closest to you, many of whom will be with you right now, wherever you're watching and participating in this ceremony. They've loved you and they've supported you through thick and thin, throughout your journey of life and learning, but especially so over the last 18 months, and they deserve your deepest gratitude. I know you'll have done everything you can to make this day special, and you will have made this day special, and you will make it special throughout the rest of the day. You'll have dressed up, you'll have gathered those closest to you together to witness your graduation, 
And I say this at every graduation ceremony, and I say it because I really believe it's important. Do take some time, some private and special time, later in this day, to let those people you've brought around you just show you how proud they are of you, to let them into your moment of celebration, to let them show how much they love you. You'll find it moving, you'll find it embarrassing, but it's a very special moment for them as it is for you. Make the most of it, because however you feel in this moment, it's going to leave with you a memory that will last the rest of your life and the rest of their lives. These are the final graduation ceremonies for me at Maynooth University, as after 10 years, my term of office ends on the 30th of September. I have, over that time, had the privilege of conferring degrees on over 45,000 graduates, each one of you now making your way anew in the world, empowered by your education. And it's one of the great pleasures of my life to meet our graduates. I, I meet you all the time in many walks of life, and I'm so impressed by, so uplifted by your ability, your ambition, your optimism, your concern to use your education collectively to make the world a better place. Earlier this week, I listened to our ambassador to the United Nations, Geraldine Byrne Nason, speaking as our representative on the UN Security Council. She directly addressed the women of, Af of Afghanistan, offering them her solidarity and support and calling upon the rest of the world to do likewise. It was a powerful and an influential moment. She, like you now are, is a graduate of this university. You have little idea where your education and your life may take you, what challenges and achievements lie ahead, but what you must know is that your future and what you do with it is important. Yes, we face extraordinary problems, poverty and inequality, assaults and democracy, and above all, an ecological crisis of which the current pandemic is just one aspect. But you are ready, you're ready to make a difference. You graduate from a truly great university, one that cares about learning and its students. And in my last graduation address, I want to offer my profoundest and sincerest thanks to all of the staff of the university for the support that they've offered me and the support that they have offered you over a decade. So you graduate from a great university with great people. You graduate into a country that's teeming with energy and talent, in a union where diversity and depth of culture allows us to think and to be freely and challenges us to think and be differently and new and rigorously. So let these be your sources of hope and optimism and energy to boldly imagine a better future and work together to that ambition. And remember this, in the great challenges that do face us, how we live our ordinary lives intelligently, sensitively, and humanely matters as much or more than the greater projects of our public lives. It is the little things as much as the great that change the world. This above all is what we as academics hope for you, that we have helped you find ways to live your lives intelligently, sensitively, and humanely. We have great hopes for you. It's been our privilege to witness your achievements to date and to be part of those achievements. And we look forward to all that you are going to do into the future. So no pressure then. For now, cherish this moment wherever you are, with those you are with. Make the most now of this day and tomorrow and the day after and the day after. Draw on the resources that your education has given you and the energy and love of those around you to navigate an uncertain future with new knowledge, skill, creativity, and optimism. When we meet again, you'll have already have moved on and started to make your own individual and special contribution to the world. So it's farewell then, and I know you 
and your very special alma mater will fare well. And it will fill my heart with joy to see your individual and collective stories unfold in the years and decades ahead. Gramagiv Galer, Agus Ganairi Liv Galer. <laughs>